Hi, I'm Aaron Wheat. I'm going to show you the tachometer that I put on my South Bend Lay. Since I changed the AC motor to a DC motor, I needed to know how fast the lathe was going since I was no longer using the standard pulley adjustments. I bought this unit right here off of eBay. This is a Mineric. There's many different kinds of tachometers to use. I just picked this one because it was a good price at the time. And I built this wooden box to contain it. I could have made one out of metal, but I've got plenty of wood around here. This was a lot cheaper and faster for me. I put it right where the switch is normally mounted so it makes the display easy and it's out of the way of everything. The bracket that holds this up is just simple metal stock that you can get from a hardware store. And in this case here, I just painted it the same color as the lathe since I rebuilt the lathe at the same time I installed the tachometer. My speed control is down here at the bottom and I have the adjustments made in here so that if I'm at a setting of 50, which is halfway for this knob, the lathe will be turning at 250 RPMs. I mounted this on here so it was turned at a little bit of an angle this way, so it made reading it easier while I'm standing off to the work area. I was tilted a little bit of an angle this way because the mounting screws for the switch aren't exactly centered on this protective cover. Now what I wanted to show you on the back side here is that the actual wiring of this is easy with the AC power coming in here at 120 volts and these three pins here for the optical reader. Now the wiring set up pretty simple. I've got main power coming up through this line here at 120 volts and the sensor wiring comes from the tachometer and down through this leg here. Now the sensor is just a simple optical Arduino sensor. These cost anywhere from $1.50 to $3 a piece depending on where you buy it from. It has a sensitivity sensor on here and then the three wires here with the two power wires and the signal wire. I just fashioned a bracket right here to hold it in place and I used the take up nut as the sensor since there isn't a whole lot of room anywhere else on this lathe for a sensor. I painted the take up nut black and then I put on speed tape or foil tape on here. I didn't buy any kind of optical sensor tape which is a lot more expensive. Just simple foil tape does a fantastic job. Now when I turn on the machine it shows a red light, meaning it's operational. And then when I go at speed, the light flashes every time it senses a reflection. Now when I move it up to a fast speed, it's happening so fast that you can't even see it flash. Now this particular tachometer required me to have at least eight reflective surfaces for one revolution. And then there's some settings you do in the back of this unit and it will do a calculation in there, give you the RPM based on that. But if I had more, like 32 sensors in here, this will read a lot faster. But with eight, it'll pick up the speed every seven and a half seconds. So it's a little slow to read, but it still works fantastic for my needs. Now here you can watch the tachometer in action. Now that's just its first reading. It'll take another seven and a half seconds for it to get a better reading. So it looks like that's the final speed. It may go up or down one or two RPMs, uh, but that's pretty much at 61 RPMs. And I did calculate this based off of uh, how fast this was turning. I put a marker on here, I had a stopwatch, and I compared the two, and it is very accurate. Now when I go up to a faster speed, you can watch it change again. So just give it a little bit of time, it'll then give you an accurate reading. Having this tachometer has been extremely beneficial. And if you have an older lathe that you've not retrofitted with the tachometer, I highly recommend that you do. But that's it, they're very simple to install. Thanks for watching.